welcome back to episode 4 of the 4th season of our weekly training lessons. Today's titan is the flick. The flick is one of those strokes that are coming back into fashion. This is due to the development of table tennis and its materials within the last couple of years with spin reduction and higher, shorter bounces of the ball. These conditions enable the players to use their flick more often from both sides in different variations. Here we show you a series of flick variations used in table tennis today. A curved flick. A smashed flick. A top spin flick. A soft flick, a last moment action flick, a banana flick, and the straight one. Let's have a closer look at the following two great examples. At the Lieber 2019 World Table Tennis Championships in Budapest, the bronze medalist An Jae Gyun from Korea faced Tomokazu Harimoto from Japan. In this duel between two young promising stars, the Korean demonstrated proper technique of his banana flick superbly. In a textbook performance, An Jae Gyun anticipated well. Using small side steps to cover the four and half of the table very consciously to have the ball in front of his body and to create enough space for the banana flick swing phase with a raised elbow in preparation for the stroke. After the Korean hit the ball on the side with the lower part of the racket, he moved back into a neutral position as quickly as possible to cover his backhand corner. Let's watch it again. At the Dishong 2020 ITTF Women's World Cup in Weihai, the Japanese player Kasumi Ishikawa performed a fast straight forehand flick against her opponent, the Chinese prodigy Sun Ying Sha. Fast flicks are getting more and more common in today's table tennis, as they put pressure on the opponent or, in the best case, enable a player to score a point directly. The Japanese stepped forward bending the leg while simultaneously initiating the swing phase of her forehand flick with the racket. Forearm and elbow aligned. She opened up the wrist to generate a higher acceleration. Last but not least, she pushed her forearm towards the ball to better be able to speed it up. It can be seen clearly that she is quickly getting back into an active forehand position, which enables her to continue attacking her opponent simply world-class. Let's watch it again. Let's move to our animated table. After the theoretical part, it is time for the application phase. Let's have a closer look at the two examples from before. Example number one, banana flick. To perform a banana flick, it is very important to get into a position where the ball is in front of your body. While getting into position, raise your elbow and initiate the first part of the swing phase. The length of the backswing depends on the opponent's spin and speed of the ball. Be fast with the forearm and wrist while hitting the ball with the lower part of the racket on the side and follow through to use as much of the hitting surface as possible. After the stroke, move quickly back into a neutral position to cover both corners. Example number two, fast straight flick. For a fast straight flick, the following parameters are essential. Step forward with the leg closest to your playing hand and bend your knee. At the same time, you have to initiate the swing phase. The speed and length of the receiving ball will determine how far back your swing needs to start. Try to have your racket, forearm and elbow almost aligned, whereby the elbow should be slightly bent. Open up your wrist a little bit and then push your forearm towards the ball to produce the highest acceleration possible. Our final advice, always check the length, spin and speed of the coming ball before choosing a certain type of flick. We hope you like today's Titan and see you next week for the fifth and final episode of our ITTF High Performance and Development Weekly Training Lessons Season 4.